What's up you guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about how to bring a girl home and have sex with her on a date. Because too often I see guys that are going out on dates with girls that are really, really into them, but they just don't know what to do to make things happen. So if you're one of those guys, stay tuned because I got five steps that are gonna give you the best opportunity to meet, attract, and then eventually seduce a girl that you're out on a date with and be able to hook up and have you guys have a good time. So let's get right into it. Step number one is even before the date even happens, you need to pick a location for the date that's close to the place that you wanna bring her back to. So if you wanna bring her back to your place, Pick a location for the date that's really close to where you live. I like to put it within walking distance. A five minute walk is great. Even if it's just down the block, that's even better. But if you don't live in a big city, maybe a five to 10 minute drive would be the best thing for you. If you can't bring her back to your place, like you got roommates or you live with your parents or something like that, try and pick a spot that's near her place. If her place is a no go, like you guys are in high school or something like that, um, then maybe pick her up in your car and then from the date drive to like, uh, pick a spot that's near a, a a good lookout or a good like vista point or something like that or maybe even i even used a parking lot when i was a kid um, when i was taking girls out on dates so you got to be creative basically a location where you two can hook up and have a good time step number two is pick a seductive location for the date don't be taking her out to some denny's or something like that that's brightly lit where there's families all around and kids running next to you uh, pick a date that's sexy pick a spot that's like you know maybe a little bit more dimly lit with some cool music that's going on maybe like some loungy area that's classy with like good design and stuff like that. Um, I like to pick a spot where they serve drinks because uh, sometimes, if it's, especially if it's a first date, you know, sometimes people get a little nervous and alcohol can calm their nerves a little bit. Um, but pick a spot that's sexy, man. Don't be picking a spot that's like not going to put people in the mood. <laughs> Step number three is to position yourself in ways that allows you guys to start touching each other. So if you're sitting across from each other on a table, um, it's going to be very difficult for you to start touching her because you got to reach over the table or something like that. You have a, a barrier in between you guys. I think a better option is to try and sit next to her, whether it's at the bar or maybe there's an empty seat next to her right here that you can come near. This is gonna allow for, if you just even sit next to her, um, your knees might accidentally touch or something like that. Or you can get closer and position yourself or you can say, hey, let me check out some of your jewelry or something like that and then you can touch your hand. It's gonna be a lot more difficult to do that if there's barriers in between you, but if you're sitting right next to each other or you're standing right next to each other or you're close to each other, there's a lot more opportunities for that to happen. Now, when you are trying to uh, get things going physically or physically escalate, um, see how she responds. So when you sit down next to her, is she coming closer to you? Is, is she backing off? Um, or is she kind of staying there? And if you come closer, how is she reacting? Is she staying there? Is she coming more into you? Or is she backing away? If she's backing away, maybe give her some space for a little bit. Um, but if she's coming closer to you or is she staying there, then you're free to keep going a little bit. But you can also flirt and maybe like take your hand and throw it away or you know have fun with it. But you wanna be physically escalating things because if you do wanna have sex with someone, sex is a physical physical act and if you don't get things started physically it ain't gonna happen step number four is to lead her back to your place now if you've been going if you've been doing things well and you've been touching each other you guys are like making out or whatever at the bar um, not every girl likes to make out at the bar some girls don't like PDA but if she's coming closer to you and she's obviously really enjoying you being closer to her in her space then it's time to bring her back to your place or or wherever you guys are gonna hook up. Um, I like, if you are a beginner, what I like to do is you have to, one of my recommendations is to have an excuse. Um, the reason why is because when you're bringing someone back to your place, you need to say it with authority and you need to be confident. Don't be like, would you maybe like to come back with me? It's okay if you don't, but like, would you? That's not gonna make her wanna come back. She's gonna feel weird, she's gonna say no, um, but if you say things with more authority, then it gives you the opportunity to do that. Now, beginner guys aren't gonna know when to say, hey, let's come on, let's get out of here. So what I recommend is you guys have something for you to do at your place that is going to be not associated with you guys hooking up, something platonic that you guys can do. So like maybe you have a nice bottle of wine at your place that you want to show her. Maybe you have some artwork you'd like to show her. Uh, maybe you have like uh, some music that's cool that you think that she'd like. Whatever it is, 
you could say, well, there's this really cool bottle of wine that I bought that I think you'd like. Um, we can have a glass and then I'll take you back home. Um, having a time constraint too can help as well um, because sometimes she's gonna be nervous. She's gonna be like, well, what are we gonna do? Like, what's gonna happen after? A lot of these thoughts that are making her nervous and uncomfortable, um, you can put them aside by telling her that, you know, we're gonna do this and then I'm gonna take you home. And if things don't go according to plan, you're still gonna end up at your place, you're still gonna be safe and you're still gonna be comfortable. If you have been touching her and you guys have been making out a whole bunch and you've been all over each other and you can't keep each other's hands off each other, then you can just say, let's get out of here and that's usually fine, which is usually what uh, what I do. Um, I don't usually do excuses anymore because <laughs> girls usually know what's going on. Step number five is kind of related to step number four and that's make sure she is comfortable when she comes back to your place. As soon as you lead her in the door or maybe if she's going to her place, don't try and have sex with her as soon as you shut the door. Wait a little bit, maybe have that glass of wine, talk to her, wait for her to get comfortable. If she's in a new environment that she's never been in with a guy that she doesn't know very well but maybe might be attracted to and still wants to hook up with, she's not gonna do it unless she's feeling okay and comfortable with the whole situation. So the way you do that is you kinda let her settle in, let her get comfortable, um, and then afterwards you can start touching her. But if you guys have been like all over each other, like you can't keep each other's hands off each other and um, you're basically almost having sex before you get in the door, then yeah, get down to business right away. There's no reason to wait. Now when it comes to the part where the clothes are actually coming off and you guys are about to have sex, I would recommend that you take off your clothes first, that way you're kind of leading things. Um, and then do whatever she's comfortable with. If she's not comfortable having sex or she doesn't want to, or she's not ready, whatever the reason is, don't sweat it man, there's plenty of fish in the sea, do what she's comfortable with. I find that the guys who are the least secure about their sexuality get the most angry in this sort of situations. Um, so don't be like that. Ironically, coming from a purely selfish standpoint, this will give you the best chance of actually getting late in the end um, is if you don't freak out and you're not like angry or you're not trying to pressure her or do anything that she doesn't want to do. All right, so hopefully this helps you guys. Let me know what you thought about this in the comment section below. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. I'm sure you guys will have a lot of thoughts about this. It's a pretty touchy subject, but I think it's one that we should have a conversation more of, uh, especially in this country. So let me know what you thought. Thanks a lot and good luck out there, you guys. Thank you.